Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an index entry and change the way it is displayed. For example, here is a name, Black Anne, so a second name first, but in the index entry, it's actually saying it correctly, Anne Black. That is what I want to show you how to do. Obviously, creating an index entry as well. So let me get a new document, Control N for new, and let's just get some text on the screen. So equals rand, open and close bracket will give me some text, which is great. Now, if I get myself to the top of this and just do that same name again, so I'll go black and I want that to be part of an index entry down the bottom here. Now to do an index entry, what you need to do is you need to mark the items that you want to be in the index. So I'm going to mark that and I'm going to mark some other random words so you can just see how the index builds up. Now that is on the reference tab and it is over in this area where it says index there. First thing you've got to do is select mark entry. You can't insert an index until you've done this. Now when you click on that, this box pops up and then you need to sort of select the things that you want to mark. So I'm going to highlight this. Now, as soon as I click mark, show hide will activate. Click on mark, there it is. There's the code for it there, look. And if you want to know where that's coming from, if I go to home, there's the show hide automatically comes on as soon as you click mark. So there's black and, I'll just mark a few other ent entries. I'll just double click on that and select mark. You can see this box sort of floats over the top of this. So you'd have to close this and open it up again. Let's go for another one. Um, let's go for document. And I'll go for mark all. I don't know if there's any more than one document word in this little table. Yes, there is. So it's marked all the entries. And then I'll do one more mark like so. Now, if I want to create the index entry, all I have to do now I've done that is click at the bottom here. I'll just give it a title, index. And then back to references and now i can go insert index and it gives me lots of different options so i've got down there four columns if you want to show this in columns you can have it in two columns or whatever you want you've got different styles there's a preview down the bottom there formal i like i do like formal actually but there's different styles if i go for modern you get a little preview there classic with a letter a at the top I'm going to put it on formal look, so sort of like, and I will leave it on four. If there's not enough to go on four columns, it doesn't do four columns. I'll click OK to that, and it drops it in. So there is four columns of information. Now, if I add some extra data, so let me just do a hard page break, Control Enter. So I've got a second page, and I'm going to go equals rand again, get some more text. I can carry on marking this stuff because this is now extra text. So if I just highlight another word, go back up to mark and then mark, and just carry on marking extra things until you're completely finished, like so. Um, word, I'll go mark all on that one and then close that. Now, obviously this is not updated automatically, but up there, look, you've got update index, click on that, and you can see it now filling in. But I've still got black hand he here, and I, that's what I want you to do, change that around so it's different. And you can do that with any of these entries, but what you need to do is make sure that you are in this mode, i.e. you've got show hide on, you don't need it on once you've done the entries, but now you do. And all you have to do is basically change this around here. So I put and there, space, and get rid of that one. Delete. Just not show hide up for a minute. So that's still showing that, 
but when I put the show hide on, that's what's going to come up in the index. So down the bottom, I get down the bottom. We need to update this because it hasn't changed. So back up to reference, update, and then it's now showing an black. So you can see, no matter what it says in the text, you can have the index saying something completely different for that particular entry. So if I just do that for this, so that says reading, I'll go mark entry, mark, and change reading to, um, I'll call it test so it stands out, test. Now if I update this, update, it puts the word test in there for me instead of the word reading. So you can do that. And then the last thing you do is go back to home, knock that off, show hide off. There's your index, happy teddy bears. So that video was just to show you how you can change what the index displays so it's different to what you select or what you mark. So hopefully that video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for your time.